these monkey Pokemon are like Pen Sage, Apon, Pinpar to Chimchar. So let's hear for day nine. It's all about the monkey business. Hi, I'm Jorge and Marty, and today we're checking out for the top 10 monkey moments. Are you monkeying around? Well, anyways, let's go ahead. So let's watch a video for the top 10 monkey moments. But you're gonna need a monkey business. Let's do it! Let's go bananas! Did I ever monkey it around? Monkey beans. It's all like Donkey Kong. Are you crazy around? For monkeys. Monkeys! Like me, are Marty! Funny animals, but I don't have to tell you that. I mean, you saw the montage. Ever since the dawn of time, humans have been fascinated by monkeys because, oh my god, we're like one evolutionary step away from throwing poop at each other. Isn't that hilarious? Turns out we're right there uh, with them. We're, we're gross, just, we're just man. The they dominate our culture. They're, they're, they're made of socks. They're, they're in our barrels and they're jumping on our beds. Monkeys are everywhere, and throughout the course of history, there have been many monkey moments, as I like to call them. So in this video, I'd like to count them all down, you know, top ten style. Uh, watch, watch, watch Mojo Moan, top funny best moment, top ten, top ten anime farts. So let's not waste oh. any time and just jump right into... Number ten. I'm going to be starting this list with humanity's Ooh, greatest achievement. Monkey That's right, time. you go, Grandpa. It's the bipedal transition. Hey, oh, <laughs> Six million years ago, our friend Sahelanthropus, monkey for short, started walking on his own two feet. He freed Stay up two hands to do we're whatever, jokes. I don't know, eat a banana, probably a monkey. Let's not forget I mean, we're talking about here. And this is huge. I mean, it was the, the monkey jokes right really after really that video. Our primate relatives, you know, cousin chimpanzee, uh, sister Bonobo, uh, uncle Donkey Kong. Ooh, Donkey Kong's a character, you, you know? Related. Walking separated the chumps from the hooks. See, because after walking, we figured out things like tools and verbal communication. Meanwhile, chimpanzee over here is still picking the bugs off tree bark. Sister Bonobo oh. doesn't even know how to kill the name. <laughs> Uncle Donkey Kong's throwing barrels and fighting crocodiles. What's going on? And we're over here sipping our civilized monkey tea. Leagues ahead of the competition. Now we're enjoying the luxuries of economy and society, and it's all because we're the guys. Monkey that got mayhem! Off on the right foot. Number nine. 
nine. Lady number X nine. Face by Chimpanzee. Yep, I know. A bit of a controversial pick for number nine, but hear me out. Look, I love laughing at goofy animals as much as the next guy. And monkeys, well, they're the goofiest animals around. Serious monkeys. Also, Silly monkeys. I don't know, kill you, you feel me? So when I heard about the attack of Travis, my interest was peaked a little bit. A lot, a bit, a lot, like a lot, like a lot, a lot, like dude, I almost broke the scale. In my frenzy of, of Googling and reading all of the information on this case, I ended up developing a, um, a, a fear of Travis, and I kid oh, you not, really? he, he, he looks like this. And I'm, I'm petrified. Like but his actions speak monkey. louder than his weight, which is 200 pounds. Oh, my God. Oh! So R slash chonkers. That's a chonker. Chonker alert. Chonker alert. He used to chonker alert. Chonker alert. You know, I would sit back and watch the TV That's with funny. the ice cream and to drive sometimes, it says. That's an important detail what? for later. Dude was basically <laughs> human, all right? He was very charming and well-behaved, according to all that met him. But, well, one day that changed. He stole his owner's car keys. Did and I ever see privacy? Who knows where? I don't know. You know? Banana store, probably. But upon realizing Travis had vanished, his mama enlisted the help of her friend to try and coax him back into the house. So she grabbed his favorite Tickle Me Elmo toy wow. and headed outside, where Travis had just returned from a snack run. Upon seeing his favorite You're toy in the hands of somebody else, around. the dude went bananas. <laughs> And, and shredded Ooh. her face off. Just absolutely demolished. Anyway, the police arrived, bad. and Travis, having just mutilated a 55-year-old woman, decided to show some courtesy and very calmly went to go open the door of one of the cruisers. Whether this was him just being polite or making the move on his next victim, we'll never know, because the cop inside the car thought it was the second one and shot him. <laughs> Number eight. Okay, number eight, when the monkey at the end of Jimmy Neutron goes, Hi, I'm Paul. Three-eyed monkey. Okay, next one, do the... That's all the three-eyed monkey. Number seven. 19 Reasons Why Monkeys Are Jerks article on BuzzFeed.com. On January 9th, 2013, Matt Belisai created this article detailing 19 reasons why monkeys are, in fact, jerks, and it created ripples in the online monkey community. Monkey I lovers mean, united! reasons like number 18, they fling their poop! It's no wonder the oh. discourse was caused. The rest of the article goes on to say that monkeys hate nice little kids, they, they hog the bathtub, and they're selfish monkeys. Monsters. Basically, they're out of control. And the comments are a whole nother gem. Are I mean, you your control freak and all. Social. A monkey peed on me once when I was trying to take a picture with it. Dad! Dad! Thank you for sharing. And this interaction is it's beautiful. Nope. Haters good. Not a... Look at the balls on that thing. Now, no, the nail in the coffin for this monkey PR nightmare was this comment left by Dawn F15. There's nothing funny cute about this several of these apes are being exploited and were likely trained by brutal methods i wish those who think oh, this is a comment mole? knew more about how apes are harmed by ignorant people laugh out loud laugh out loud you mean the laugh out loud house the piece on monkeys was unsuccessful no the internet it's wrote a monkey mass hatred for monkeys is unjust no it the loud house but it was later revealed <laughs> that matt's hatred for monkeys all started when a baboon took his wife away from him Whoops. That's why I wrote the article. Whoops, whoops. Number six. Number six, airport hat monkey. In 2007, a man was traveling to New York from Peru, which wouldn't normally New turn into his head until you realize it was above his head and under his hat. A monkey was, it was a monkey. <laughs> How he got through airport security with an entire Ooh. monkey under his hat? We'll never know. Uh, the passengers on flight 180 were just on. enjoying their time in the sky when all of you a sudden they, they meet, noticed some right? movement under a certain man's cranial mm -hmm. accessory. It rattled and rolled, and the passengers grew increasingly paranoid what until finally there were the monkey. There monkey, was the monkey no under his trouble, oh, I'm a no. Monkey, I'm a monkey, I'm under his no, no. That's what happened. It was described as holding on to the man's ponytail with an iron tight grip. And I don't know about you, but to me, I mean, that sounds, that sounds like some ratatouille business. That sounds like some ratatouille, like piloting under the hat. You know what I'm saying? But when I the flight attendants were alerted of the uh, well, the monkey business, they just turned their heads and said, eh, "Not my problem." And kept throwing peanuts at the passengers. It was later revealed that this debacle oh, took place on Spirit Airlines flight. Snap out of me. Yep, that checks out. When they touched down in New York, the man monkey combo meal was greeted by airport security when they were both Man. taken in for questioning. That's right. No both way. Of them. How you question a monkey? I don't know. Why were you hiding under that man's hat? Mm. Mm. Death sentence, both of you. You make me sick. 
Number five. Number five, when the monkey was on the Ellen show and it comes out and Ellen's like, hi, monkey. And then, and then, and then Ellen slaps the monkey's butt. I thought that was hilarious. So, monkey, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, what's your favorite kind of banana? Because you're a banana, you're a monkey, right? You like bananas, right, <laughs> monkey? Is this, is this is a banana mayhem? inviting me on the show. You just wanted to make fun of me. Number four! SWAT raid with your pals, you know, just clearing a house, detaining suspects, when all of a sudden you think to yourself, this would be a whole lot easier with a monkey? Just well, get over it, you know? Sean Trulove has, and in 2005, he aimed to make the dream of a SWAT monkey a reality. And none of this is a joke. This Wait is a all minute. 100% real. He wanted uh, $100,000 of federal grant the world grant monkey. To the put world a monkey on his Rainbow monkey. Six squad. The Department of Defense never got back to his emails. But the plan was to purchase a capuchin monkey, no. which is the second smartest primate in the world, that have been trained to help paraplegics with, you know, daily tasks, like turning off lights or opening doors, you know, skills that Bob easily translate face. into being a key component in a SWAT raid. Hi, still with me? None of this is a joke. He wanted to take his capuchin companion, outfit it with a Kevlar vest, a body cam, and a two-way radio. What does a monkey need a radio for? What's it gonna say? Ooh, uh, uh, Bar monkey. What the fuck? True love reason with the right equipment and special ops training, his monkey could search rooms, open doors, and negotiate in hostage situations. That one's a joke. That's the only Gone joke. Away, Everything no. else is real. But the kicker is, in an interview with the Arizona hey, Daily Sun, when you asked never about heard his that master plan, Sean True Love had just one thing say. to say. Everybody mm. laughs about it. Everybody laughs oh, about it. It's okay. Until they really start thinking about it. To really start thinking about it. Gorilla! Gorilla. Number two. Anytime humans want to do something, but it's a little risky and there could be a whole lot of deadly consequences to the process, they just throw <laughs> monkeys at it until it works. Trial and error, baby. Space travel is no different. The giant void that sits outside of our planet, it's just, it's, it's so cool and we want to go so bad, but maybe monkey, we should put a bunch of monkeys on the and watch them in space to see if they blow up. Going through space. So when they were doing that whole, you know, space race thingy in like the 50s and 60s, everybody thought it was a good idea to maybe test the waters with uh, the entire animal kingdom. Dogs, cats, hamsters, frogs, nematodes, and of course monkeys. We're all deemed disposable life forms did, that we could test did, the traversal of the Did galaxy. I say something about a monkey? But our story today begins with a monkey named Number 65, which... 65? It's kind of funny to think about, because NASA had, like, 64 other monkeys just sitting in a room somewhere waiting to get launched into the chasm of space. They're number 65 was put space. through a number of rigorous you tests, mean like... Space Jam. Pushing buttons. And, uh... Push it, push it, push it, button! Push it, button! He's ready. The day soon came when it was time to put him on a rocket ship, launch him into space, wait a couple of hours, watch him land, Whoa. and then check to see if he dies. Number 65 had been preparing his entire life for this moment. He wasn't just some passenger on a predetermined flight path. He was actively piloting the rocket he sat in. This test would determine the future of space traversal. Every button press, every lever pull had more weight behind it than your mother Boom. in a tug of war match. Because after this, bam, it was bam. humans going out there. It was a huge moment. But 65 was probably up there like, oh, when I push this button, I get a banana. That's awesome. So he went to outer god dang space, probably freaked out a little bit when gravity went away, and touched back down on Earth like a boom. He was awarded ba -boom. A and bananas, and he was finally given a real name. It was Ham, by the way, and then he died a true American hero. I know. That movie Space Jamps? Now it's time for the final entry on this list. We have counted down nine, What's... nine, pointing at a graphic works much better, of the top 10 monkey moments throughout history. Now it's finally time to reveal number one, baby. Monkeys are extraordinary creatures, and I'm very happy that you've been able to join me on this journey, detailing I'm many of their me. revolutionary stories. So without further ado, here is your number one monkey. Number monkey. one is... Z. 
zoo under fire for shooting and killing an endangered gorilla instead of tranquilizing him. Today at about 4 o'clock, a young boy uh, crawled through a barrier. Wait, and a, a gorilla is there a monkey at the zoo? They started hearing people screaming around the gorilla enclosure. Zoo horror caught on camera, a child falling into a News gorilla exhibit. Three-year-old boy who fell into a gorilla exhibit. The images are jaw-dropping. Oh my god! My son's not in the zoo exhibit as a gorilla. This four-year-old boy, they understand, fell 10 to 12 feet down into the moat in the gorilla enclosure. There's a male gorilla standing over him. I need someone to contact him real quick. Okay. Harambe drags the boy around the moat and up a ladder for a total of 10 minutes. Be calm! He's dragging my son! I can't walk here! Then grabbing him by the back of his shirt, Watch sweeping it, him through the water Okay. Again. The zoo called in its dangerous animal response team and decided to shoot 17-year-old Harambe. Zookeepers killed the endangered western lowland gorilla. Officials made the decision to shoot and kill him. They made the right choice because they saved that little boy's life. Gorillas! It was the parents' fault. Inside the zoo, flowers surround a gorilla statue. On the street corner near the entrance of the Cincinnati Zoo in remembrance of Harambe, who they said died too soon. An online petition now has 200,000 oh, signatures. Demanding justice for the endangered gorilla. Harambe died. You can see some people that are running up right now. Okay, thank you. Keep it up. All right, anyway. Um... That gorilla had no intention of hurting that child, and I don't think anybody believes that. Any gorilla expert should know that gorilla was not acting violently towards that child. He certainly wasn't trying to hurt the child. Right. It's really easy to ignore Ooh. difficult problems and not care. And if you sit around thinking, well, I wish somebody would do something about this, you know, how long is it going to take you to realize that you are somebody? Well, Harambe died. That's over. Six years. Banana Salama! Okay, so here are some of these jokes all about monkeys before you go. You too, Marty. Okay. What do you call a monkey with a banana in each ear? Anything you want, he can't hear you. What do you call a flying monkey? A hot air baboon. Why do monkeys love bananas? Because they have a peel. If a monkey has 30 bananas in one hand and 40 bananas in the other hand, what does he have? Huge hands. How do you catch a monkey? Climb a tree and act like a banana. What kind of monkey likes seafood? A chimpanzee. What does a banana do when it sees a monkey? The banana splits. What do you call a monkey that sells potato chips? A chipmunk. What did the orangutan say to the champ? Ginger's the new black. And finally, where does a 2,000 pound gorilla sit? Anywhere it wants to. Well, thanks you to Jorge and Marty the monkey. So anyways, we'll see you on the next zodiac animal is a rooster. Thanks for watching.